Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and we continue with the journey to complete extinction with myself and the complete crew. Today our task is to make a tech fabricator so we can craft some cryopods. But before we can do that, myself and tribe members Vexing Cat and Shez head out on some average unimprinted Rexes to tackle a blue drop. On Extinction, orbital supply drops are how you get loot and we'll be doing many of these before the end of this playthrough. You can solo the blue drops easy enough but they're frustrating as the dillos tend to get stuck behind rocks and they can be time consuming to do. The corrupted dinosaurs come at you in waves of five with each stage getting progressively worse or changing somehow but the blue drops are the easiest ones to do and they often spit out a few cryopods and various blueprints that will help us get started. So while we all head out to tackle this blue drop, I just want to say thank you all so much for the kind words on episode 1 of Extinction. I know it's a slight deviation from the normal format, but it allows me to focus a lot more on bringing you some content, and I do have a lot of ideas I want to share with you all. After we complete Extinction, I will be solo in Fyodor, but we will return to this map, so I'll probably complete these creatures again by myself. If you're on PC and you want to join this community map on its launch, then you need to be on PC and you'll need to be a member of the Discord. Links, as always, are in the description of my videos. The new map, when it releases, will be a cluster with a focus on getting Thor's hammer legitimately between now and Arc 2. And to do that, we'll have a monthly rotating map. But Fjordor's going to be my home and I'm looking forward to building my base there. Of course, for those of you who have been playing Fjordor, you'll know that all of the engrams are open to you, everything that comes with Genesis 2. So, at this point, playing Ark without tech and utilising these numbers in, in engrams is going to be a very much a, a sticking point. So, we're going to make it so that the server is going to be able to complete this with the rotating maps. And that's pretty much going to be our goal for the series. I will be streaming over on Twitch from time to time if you want to come and hang out, join me there. I can only show you so many of these orbital supply drops here on YouTube. But I mentioned at the start of this episode, our priority today is to obtain a tech fabricator. We almost have enough element dust and we've gathered plenty of metal, but our bottleneck is going to be black pearls. You can get black pearls from some of the larger corrupted creatures out here in the wastes. But now that we have some cryopods and a way to get the gotchas out of the sunken forest, myself and tribe mate Fexing Cat head on out to the sunken forest in search of a couple of mated pairs of gotchas in the hope of finding one that gives us black pearls. We have a male 20. Yeah, kill that. Just tell me if you need me to pop my thingy out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch me, James. Don't touch me. Well, it's on my hot bar. <laughs> so what you're saying is your hand is on the zipper already. <laughs> it is. Got my finger on the pulse. It's on the button. <laughs> hey, you gotta stop or I'm not gonna be able to focus. <laughs> One more pile on this one will be tamed. It's tamed. Okay. Oh. Shut some bad. Can throw yep. this one away if it's uh, if we come across better, yeah, but let's just try and get yep, sounds like a good plan. So okay. there's the well, one here. you got and then there's this mm -hmm. one that we've just got. That mm -hmm. only leaves one more cryopod. And I have one yeah, well Which okay. is what you've got, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So, we gotta look for, you know, I guess. Female, yeah. It's a level 60 female just here, though. This one's doing most of the gems. Okay. And fiber. Ish. Yeah, I have 30 now. So it's going forward, for sure. It means we have a total of 60. We needed 150 or 100, 150. 150. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! This one does black pearls. Hey. Hey, hey, hey! Nice. Awesome. Well done. Hey, James, you're gonna have to put your pot out. Gonna have to pull my thingy out, aren't I? Yeah, you are. Finally. 
Oh, not you. <laughs> So a successful hunt for some gotchas, and we've already acquired almost 60 black pearls back at base. Myself and Vexing Cat head back. Our intention was to find two males and two females and breed until we had some that gave back black pearls, but finding one out in the wild that yielded black pearls was a big bonus. The higher the level of the gotcha in its crafting skill dictates how much it will yield, so acquiring better levels is certainly a project we'll focus on. The preferred kibble is owl pellets, but throwing some stacks of stone is enough to get you started. So we head back to base to gather the last of the resources, so we can craft a tech fabricator. What do you think about the name of this one, James? Which one? <clears throat> RG right here. Emperor. Oh, this one. My hand is nice. <laughs> I'm on that bird. Did you name it that? I'm doing that to no. me up. I did not name that. Maybe you failed at that as well. I did, I'm not we the should, one We should it. stop what we're doing and go back and try it now. <laughs> Your end is Ah, yeah, look, look above us, look above us now. Directly above us, can you see it? The moon is blown up. It's in, oh yeah, it's in sh sh shards. Shatter. So that's why oh, yeah. the earth is not spinning. But there is still no explanation as to why the moon was blown up. I thought I remember it like, being blown up. <laughs> okay, here we go, I'm gonna replicate that. Ollie, top job. <laughs> I have, I have the goods. Okay, I guess we have to use yeah. red. No, I want to run red. Wrong way. <laughs> yeah, do not fly between the red. <laughs> <laughs> So that's about it for a short update on the complete crew's progress. In the end, we crafted the fabricator at the Alpha Titan spawn point, so in hindsight that would have been a quicker way for the crew to get a head start on cryopods. But having access to a tech fabricator means the complete crew can craft a tech transmitter, an end game tool that allows the transmission of items and tames, so farming element veins and gathering metal is going to be a lot easier. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games. And I'll see you.